What's up guys? Tech Tuesday and I'm joining you guys today to do a little bit different. I'm gonna talk about the 140 update for the Vision FT line, the software that runs our Premiere, the FT700 and FT700 Plus. There is a ton of stuff. It's actually so long that I had to have like a couple pages here with me so I can not get lost with all this stuff. But we have everything available on the website. So if you go to fueltech.net, go to support and news, we have a really cool article that has every single one of the details and stuff because there are too many. I'm not going to go over every single one, but I will go over some of them. And then we can go ahead and talk about some cool stuff that the Vision FT, the 700, 700 plus, have to offer for you guys. So I have my laptop with me. Is it, this is gonna help a little. Uh, I have my software open. I have my ECU. She's connected. Uh, today I have a, 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 a little surprise. I actually have my M harness. So this is the media harness, right? So uh, don't know if everyone remember, I'm holding here a camera. So. This is not part of the update, but we have been adding some features that are connected to this. So I have some examples of dashboards. This is the first one. I have a camera with me. I just want to show to you guys the camera working in real time, how smooth is the transition from it. I have another dashboard here. So two different dashboards. I have the camera. I can see my computer, I can see here. And this camera you can use for different stuff. You can do like a backup camera, like a regular backup camera, like a, a, a street style car deal, or like we seen on road racing, they actually do like a, re a reverse camera, not because you're backing up, it's just because you are inside a vehicle where you don't have a mirror, but you still want to see what's happening behind. So I'm gonna show some footage here of stock car racing back in Brazil, where we have over 30 cars in the same class using the 700 plus, and they have that, they have a camera on the rear bumper so they know what's happening during the race. They can see if there's someone behind them because there's no mirror. They have side mirrors, but not the center mirror. Going back to the features that we have, on this list, I had some stuff that I highlighted because I think it's really cool. Um, as you guys know, we released the unit with a lot of features to be developed or to be released, and that's what we've been doing. So on the 140 revision, the previous one was the 126, in between, we did a lot of beta, so beta testing. So in-house, some cars that we have like a close relationship, we do that stuff. If you have questions, you want to join that, you can connect to us and then we can work together closely on this. But the 140 is the uh, out there, the open version, the public release, so you guys have it. We already work in some new stuff, but in between, let's talk about the 140, okay? CO2 boost controller, we didn't have that on the 126, now we added two. So we have the one and two. Um, we also have new alerts, a lot of new alerts, new styles of alerts. Yellow outputs, just like on the PowerFT line, we have a lot of features on the outputs that can have your feedback on how they're being used, current consumption and how you wanna trigger them and stuff like that. Electronic E-Gate. The E-Gate is it's a, a marvel, a marvel to manipulate boost, okay? It's just such of a unique, way to manipulate a valve to manipulate fluids, right? Gases from either intake or exhaust. And what we discover is there's some new stuff that we can do to the valve, new approaches, not just in the position of the valve, but targets and goals that you can set differently that we couldn't do in the previous generation on the PowerFT line. We developed this and we just released so you guys can use it. So the E-Gate control is even better now on the Vision FT line. Electronic blow-off. Also, we used to do on the, power, on the Power FT, we increase the options that you guys have to electronic blow-offs. And electronic blow-offs are really useful. You can actually trigger the blow-off prior to the throttle becomes a restriction, build boost on the charge pipe and open the blow-off. So that helps a lot with surging on the turbo and large centrifugal chargers like Pro Chargers that sometimes don't like the clashing between the the pro charger trying to make boost, the air doesn't go in. That's why you add more blow-offs, electronic blow-offs, they're really helpful for that kind of stuff. Uh, this is really cool. Widgets. What is a widget? This is something that we use regularly on a regular computer, a laptop, you know, 
Windows Mac, where we have an alarm with a trigger to something that help you understand what it is. We developed this on the unit now, where if you have a problem, we can already suggest you something, right? So low oil pressure, you can also have not just the alarm, but something next to it that kind of tells, sometimes the driver is not a mechanic. So the driver don't know what that means. Low oil pressure, what does that mean? The widget adds something where it can say, verify oil level, verify your pump. You may have lost your belt on your pump. So that makes it easier for anyone to understand what a alarm means. Ethernet adapter to USB. As you guys know, we have a USB port up front. We have another in the back. Now you can connect a USB to Ethernet and connect that thing to a 5G hotspot or something like that. So you can have wireless communication to cell phone network to your unit. There is a lot of uh, cars using that, including the road racing class that I spoke about with you guys, where they can actually manage and understand what's happening with the car down the track through 5G connection. Switch panel. I love the switch panels that we have. We have some options, four, five, eight, but now we add some features where you guys can choose the color for the function. And if the color will blink, will stay on or something like that. So the feedback to the user, it's easier and you can select how you want to do it. The data logger, it's something that we work hard on this unit to be way better. The PowerFT line had a lot of good features. It is an impressive data logger system, but now with this thing, you have so much more. So as we have so much memory and options to do this stuff, we actually added some cool features, like I'm gonna read some of that. Now you can actually insert on the ECU details of the vehicle that it stays with, like the driver, the class you race, stuff like that. And we also changed the way that you send the tune. You can also have an option on the tune where only partial, partially, you're gonna send your tune in. So if you have, like as a tuner, more than one car, they have the same power plant, for example, you can actually send the same tune for different cars where you just change stuff that particular to that vehicle, like power management. So if you have two cars, they're pretty much the same, but you wanna do it slightly different because of power management, because how they do, one is the mountains, one is, you can actually select on the tune, I just want to send this, don't send the whole tune up, just send this, this part. And with this, you can actually send the same file to several cars without changing the basics because you may have a particular uh, timing calibration or something like that that you don't want to swap. But then you want to do the power manager, the boost controller or nitrous the way that you want the same for different cars, keeping what is personalized for each vehicle and changing what you want to change. You can just select that on the drop down and define what's gonna be sent or to what not gonna be sent. The data logger now has capabilities of recording up to 1000 Hertz. That means one sample every millisecond, right? You still have your options. You can go from one to a thousand, but we just free up to a thousand. And just remember, we also have some inputs here that can go up to 40 kilohertz, but that's not available yet. We're gonna work later for you guys. At least the data logger now can go up to a thousand hertz. That's five times quicker than the PowerFT line. One that's really cool feature that we just add is the engine simulator. So now on the unit, you can actually trigger all inputs and outputs or engine RPM or a sensor like boost or something to see what happens and it will trigger. So on the PowerFT, we had just a time-based test. Now you can build your own time-based test using two-step and RPM, for example, but you also can do other stuff and just trigger boost, trigger TPS to trigger outputs on real time. So if you have something activated, something else based on boost, based on RPM or something, you can go up and down and see that thing going on, off, on, off in real time and simulate what will be without having the car running. But just remember, fuel, injectors, and timing coils won't do anything. That's to protect you guys for now. But all the other outputs will do. So gear shifting, boost controller, 
some kind of other outputs that you have like lockup or something. Everything will kick in and out besides fuel and timing. We added a lot of predefined sensors. We had a lot of uh, outputs as well. So the list is pretty large. There was a bunch of small fixes and stuff that we found on the system that like, ah, maybe the language is wrong. Maybe this is not working. The bottom is that wasn't working. So we have a complete list. It's, you know, half of page stuff that we didn't improve or fix. So what I recommend to you guys is this. If you don't have the software, download the software, check out for yourself. If you already have the software or you have your unit, download the website, install on your unit that's seamless, free as usual, and take a look at all these new perks, new features, some improvements, some fixes that we just did on the 140 version. But stay put, we're working on a new one. So we're gonna do this right now, it's available on the website. And some weeks or so, I come back here to show some new cool features that we've been doing and testing that will get you really excited about this badass unit.